Airplanes are full of little details that most of us never notice until someone points them out. And one of the strangest ones, if you've ever had the good fortune, or maybe the anxiety, of sitting by the window, is that tiny hole in the glass. Right there, in the middle of the window pane, is a little dot, almost like a pinprick. It looks like something the airline forgot to fix, or maybe the plane took a hit and no one bothered to patch it up. And believe it or not, it's one of the most important features keeping you comfortable and safe at 35,000 feet. So today, let's dive into the world of airplane windows. We'll explore what the bleed hole does, why engineers put it there, and what might happen if it didn't exist. Right here on History of Simple Things. First, let's get familiar with how airplane windows are built. Unlike the windows in your car or at home, airplane windows aren't just one layer of glass. They're made of multiple layers of acrylic or polycarbonate material designed to withstand extreme pressure differences between the inside of the cabin and the thin, cold air outside. Most commercial airplane windows have three layers. On the outside is the outer pane, this is the one taking the brunt of the job, holding back the difference in air pressure that builds up as the plane climbs higher and higher. On the inside is the inner pane, the part you can touch, scratch, or press your nose against when you're trying to spot your house from the sky. Then sandwiched between those two is the middle pane. And here's where the magic happens. It's the middle pane that has that little hole, the bleed hole, right at the bottom. So what's the point of this little puncture? At first glance, it looks like it could cause more problems than it solves. But in fact, the bleed hole has three very important jobs. First, it regulates air pressure between the panes. Remember, the cabin of an airplane is pressurized so that passengers can breathe normally at high altitudes. Without pressurization, the thin air at 35,000 feet would make it nearly impossible to get enough oxygen. The bleed hole allows air from the cabin to flow into the space between the inner and outer panes. This way, the outer pane takes the full pressure load, while the inner pane is mostly protected. Essentially, the bleed hole makes sure the outer layer is doing the heavy lifting, while the inner layer acts as a backup in case something goes wrong. Second, the bleed hole helps manage condensation. If you've ever breathed on a cold window, you know how foggy it can get. The same thing happens in an airplane cabin, where warm, humid air from passengers meets the freezing surface of the window. The bleed hole allows just enough airflow to prevent moisture from building up between the panes, keeping your view of the clouds crystal clear. And third, the bleed hole helps equalize the temperature between layers, reducing the risk of cracks forming. Now, you might be wondering, if the bleed hole is so important, why make it so small? Why not just leave a big vent in the window? The answer lies in balance. The hole only needs to let through a tiny bit of air to equalize pressure and prevent condensation. If it were too big, it would let in noise, drafts, and possibly compromise the strength of the window structure. By keeping it pin-sized, engineers ensure it does its job quietly, without passengers even noticing most of the time. It's one of those examples where the smallest detail makes the biggest difference. So, Let's imagine a scenario. What if airplane windows didn't have bleed holes at all? Well, for one, the air trapped between panes would eventually fog up. You'd look out the window, and instead of endless blue sky, you'd see nothing but a cloudy mess. But the bigger problem comes from pressure distribution. Without the bleed hole, both the inner and outer panes would share the stress of cabin pressurization. Over time, that added strain could weaken the inner pane, 
which isn't designed to handle as much pressure. And if the inner pane were to crack, passengers would suddenly be one layer closer to the outer pane, the last barrier holding back all that pressure difference. It wouldn't necessarily mean instant disaster, since the outer pane is still the strongest and most reliable layer, but it would add unnecessary risk. Airplane windows haven't always had bleed holes. In the early days of commercial flight, airplane design was still trial and error. The tragic accidents of the 1950s involving the de Havilland Comet jet actually changed the way engineers thought about windows. The Comet was the first commercial jet airliner, and it suffered a series of mid-air breakups that were eventually traced back to weaknesses around the square-shaped windows. Engineers discovered that stress concentrated at the sharp corners, causing cracks that spread catastrophically. From then on, airplane windows were redesigned to be oval-shaped, distributing stress more evenly. Not long after, bleed holes became a standard part of the design, helping relieve internal stress and making the entire window system safer and more reliable. If you look closely, you'll notice that the bleed hole is almost always located at the bottom of the window, not the center or the top. This isn't random. Engineers put it there because condensation naturally collects at the bottom of the pane. The hole at the bottom ensures that any moisture is immediately ventilated, keeping the rest of the window clear. It's also positioned in such a way that most passengers never even notice it unless they're deliberately looking for it. So, the next time you're lucky enough to snag a window seat, take a look down at that tiny hole. Remember that it's not a mistake, not a crack, and definitely not a leak. It's a silent guardian of your flight, proof that sometimes the smartest engineering solutions are also the smallest. That tiny bleed hole has been keeping passengers safe for decades, and chances are you've probably stared right at it without ever realizing what it was doing for you. From the outside, air travel can look like pure magic, a metal tube somehow defying gravity, soaring through the sky. But when you look closer, it's all about design. Every part, from the engines to the smallest hole in a window, has a purpose. And now, you know one of those secrets. The bleed hole may be tiny, but without it, flying wouldn't be nearly as safe or comfortable. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.